hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to autofill otps inside a text field in native android application using the sms consent api now there are two apis which are available for uh, uh, autofilling otps one is the sms retriever api and second one is the sms uh, user consent api we, we will be looking into the sms user consent api if you are interested in the sms retriever api do let me know in the comments i'll make a video about that as well uh, first let's have a look so uh, typically uh, what a flow of entering otp would be like suppose you enter your mobile number right so here i have one text field i will enter some mobile number okay ignore the mobile number part for now and the user will click on get otp as soon as the user clicks on get otp it will trigger an api call to your backend to send an sms to the user's mobile number now for this get otp button i haven't uh, like i'm not calling any api as such but what i'm doing is that i'm using twilio now uh, this is not any sponsorship for twilio as such you can use any sms provider whichever you feel like it's just that uh, twilio uh, provides a free uh, plan as well like up to 15 dollar something free plan without credit card or debit card registration that's why i'm using twilio but you can use any sms service which will help uh, to send an sms like an otp code to the user's device so uh, what i will do is that i will click on the get otp button so uh, if i click on the get otp button is first it will start the sms user consent so here you can see it has started the sms user consent i'll come back to the code later on in much more detail uh, now once the sms user consent has been started uh, my uh, device will start uh, looking for new sms which it has received now suppose if you receive an sms even before if you have started this uh, sms user consent uh, then uh, it won't be able to detect that message okay so be very careful uh, this has to uh, like you have to start the sms user consent before you receive the message so you will have to manage the flow accordingly in your app that's one thing the second thing is there could be a timeout error so uh, this sms user consent will not constantly looking for uh, new messages there is some time period you can read the documentation for that uh, so yeah uh, just want to clear that thing out now what i will do is that i will go to twilio i will uh, send an sms to my uh, device and once i have sent an sms to my device uh, it will automatically uh, detect that OTP code. It will automatically detect that message. Then the user will have to give a consent to use that particular message. And then it will automatically fill the OTP in the second text field which I have. Okay. Before I send an SMS message via Twilio, uh, here is uh, the documentation. So here you can see there is this SMS retriever API as well as this SMS user consent API. I am using the SMS user consent API because it is much more flexible. So here you can see once a user receives an SMS, uh, user will see something like this like allow Zomato to read the message below and enter the O code. Once the user click on allow then only we are able to read that particular message. Also we don't require the messages permission this is just one time thing. So that's what this uh, user consent API is. Now what I will do is again like I mentioned uh, it to you. I haven't configured any uh, API call on this get OTP button. Typically, you will need to configure an API call which call your backend API and your backend API will trigger an SMS. But just for simplicity sake, I will uh, manually uh, trigger the uh, manually trigger an SMS OTP uh, from my uh, Twilio API. And I have also hard coded my mobile number inside my Twilio API service. So uh, yeah, just uh, just, uh, you know, just giving you a background of how uh, things are uh, because I want to keep things simple don't want to complicate too much I'm in my Twilio dashboard I have blurred it sorry for that but I will just click on send a uh, code so it will send me a test code I to my app so here is our app and now what I will do here you can see that it is able to detect my message uh, now uh, I will just click on allow and here you uh, see uh, the OTP was automatically pre-populated. Now there is one more thing which you have to be uh, take care of. So suppose uh, once I give the SMS user consent and in the meantime the user receives a message from some other service like uh, maybe from some other app or maybe from his bank uh, then uh, this uh, sms user consent api will read that particular message and if your otp message comes after that it won't be able to detect that particular message so uh, you have to consider this fact 
i think there would be extremely less chances of that but it is possible so be mindful of that so hopefully you have got the point okay now let's have a look at the code so first i have created a native android application uh, i am using xml layout but if you want you can use jetpack compose as well then uh, what i have done is that inside build.gradle.kts i have just added two dependency first one is this lib play services auth dependency and second one is this lib play services auth api phone dependency and given that i am using this version catalog uh, this uh, dependencies are referenced over here so this is the play services auth as well as play services auth api phone so whatever is the latest version use that uh, so android studio will automatically tell you if you are using an older version it will give you some kind of a warning so just update to the latest version and here you can see i am using this play services auth so this is the one dependency which you have to use and this is the second dependency play services auth api phone so here you can see i have added this particular thing as well again i have just copy pasted this from the documentation so make sure you do that as well then you just have to click on sync now and it will download all the dependencies for you so hopefully till here everything is clear then inside activity underscore mean i have just taken a text field for mobile number this is pretty much useless in my case because i am ha i have hard coded my mobile number on the twilio side but for your case you would require a mobile number and here i have the get otp button uh, for that i have created this button i have created another text field for otp to be automatically populated okay so here up till everything is clear then inside our main activity so firstly these are all the imports which i have so first copy paste all these imports uh, we don't need these imports like these are some dead imports okay so ignore these dead imports so copy paste all these imports uh, this is the documentation link in case if you are interested now here i have created one edit text so this is our actually otp edit text i haven't uh, taken mobile edit text because that is pretty much useless in my case then we have to use this register for activity result i'll come back to that in a bit uh, i'll come back to this broadcast receiver as well in a bit so firstly inside on create we are uh, creating object for our edit text we are also getting hold of our button and on click of it we are starting this sms uh, start sms user consent now here i have passed null because typically this would be uh, the mobile number from which uh, the sms is sent but in my case i don't know what the mobile number is right because twilio is sending me the sms sms uh, code for me i don't know what the mobile number is so here i have can pass it as pass it as null now here there are success listener and failure listener like i'm not sure uh, like i didn't find them useful at all uh, like i you can get an okay okay the sms user consent has started all right uh, but i didn't find this at at all uh, like i didn't find this at all useful but maybe in your case you might find this useful that's why i have added this success listener and failure listener uh, so yeah up to you you have to start this uh, sms user consent before you receive the sms so make sure you start this pretty quick as soon as the user enters his mobile number and you make an api call uh, all right so once this is done next uh, inside uh, okay i'll come back to now the important part is the uh, broadcast receiver so here i have created a broadcast receiver which will actually listen for messages so here i am checking for this sms retrieved action so once we have that uh, once we receive uh, an message uh, we get the extras from it and from that we actually get this sms retriever status so here this is like this is how you do it in android t and above and this is how you do below android t and if it is a success and if you are above android t then this is how again you get uh, data uh, like parsable data from above android t and below android t you can get uh, data something like this and once we get the actual uh, proper message then we just launch this register for activity result which i have declared at the top so here we just do sms consent uh, dot launch pass our consent intent in case of any error i am just displaying a toast message and there could be a timeout like i told you so here the user can display a timeout error as well so yeah if you doesn't uh, if you don't if the user doesn't receive a message in an appropriate time uh, you will get a timeout error so be careful about that as well and here you can see inside on resume i am registering our uh, receiver uh, use the context compat don't directly use the register receiver otherwise you have to update to android 26 
uh, and then uh, there will be lot of issues as well so make sure you use contest compact for registering receiver and on pause i am unregistering the receiver now there is one more thing which i want to clarify suppose if you are entering mobile number in one screen and then uh, once the user has entered mobile number you clicked on your button it made made an api call to your backend and then if you are moving to some separate screen for different screen for otp then in that case what you will have to do is you will have to register this particular receiver in that otp screen you can't register this inside your mobile number screen if they you have two different screen so be careful about that because on pause i'm deregistering uh, like i'm unregistering the receiver so be careful about that and if you come to this uh, register for activity result now coming back to our start activity for result so here as you know this was called from this particular thing uh, sms consent result dot launch if i come over here register for activity result if the result is okay and result dot data is not equal to null then we get the extra sms message so here is our message and if the message is not equal to null now i want to show you one other thing uh, typically the format for sms is fixed like how you receive an sms from your uh, like the otp sms which you receive the otp only differs so i'll just quickly show you that uh, just to avoid one more confusion so if you see my sms the way i have received it over here your sample test verification code is this will be constant for each and every message of mine uh, so uh, with this uh, user consent api uh, you will able to read the entire message you won't be able to read the just the otp you have to segregate the otp from this message so in my case this uh, your sample test verification code will be common for every time um, for you also it will be common so that's why i have added this prefix and i'm using substring to remove this particular text from my message which i will get so this message will contain the entire message you receive from your uh, backend so that's why i'm uh, substring doing substring and here you can see i'm just getting the verification code uh, like the otp and setting it to our edit text so yeah that's it uh, hopefully uh, you got the point of how i ha i have done things uh, again be careful for registering and unregistering the receiver register it inside your otp screen if you have a different otp screen for in my case i only had one screen for accepting the mobile number as well as for entering the otp so yeah it's up to you how you handle the flow uh, but yeah that's it thank you for watching bye